Hey there, welcome to this week's episode of Epic Entrepreneurs, brought to you by Action Coach Growth Partners. I'm your host, Bill Gilliland, and in this podcast, you'll find three things. You're going to hear real stories from real entrepreneurs that will help you along your entrepreneurial journey. You're also going to get business tips to help you scale up faster, and you're going to get actual coaching to help you get better real-world results to be the best entrepreneur you can be. Hey, and if you like the podcast, remember to subscribe. And now, enjoy the show. Hey there, I hope you're having a fantastic week. Welcome to this week's episode of Epic Entrepreneurs. And this week, I've got Kinsley Hendricks from Christie's Lighting. Welcome to the show, Kinsley. Thank you, I'm excited. So Kinsley, tell us how you came to be at Christie's Lighting and what you do. Oh, well, it's uh, funny. I stumbled upon it. I actually worked next door and then um, loved the culture so much over here. Just came over here and got myself a job. Um, I am business development. So my old title was brand ambassador. It's kind of the same thing. It just, when you're explaining to people what you do, it sounds better to say business development. Um so we have Christie's Lighting Gallery, uh, the Silver Fox Gallery, and American Eagle Locksmith, all very much encompassing the, you know, building uh, industry. So we have lights, we have plumbing, we have door hardware, we have cabinet hardware, we have interior designers. We love the building industry and plan to stick around in it for a while. So, I mean, you deal directly with contractors, but you also de ha do business. I mean, people can just come in there and buy stuff. I mean, I bought a heated towel rack in there. So, I mean, it's a, it's, it's, it's a pretty good mix, right? Yeah, it's a pretty good mix. We, um, we're, this location is, um, at Christie's is at the airport design center. So it's pretty centrally located. Um, it's on airport road. So in between the Henderson Buncombe area, and then we're pretty you know, convenient for Transylvania County as well. So we pull in a we pull in a pretty good walk in crowd and then, you know, contractors kind of all over the western North Carolina Carolinas too. So Yeah, yeah, and upstate South Carolina as well, because I know you have an office down there as well, right? We do. Yeah, we do. Um and a lot of our builders a lot of the builders that build here, some of them go down there and then it, it just it works pretty well together but it made a made sense to have a store down there with what we have going on yeah so let's talk about the culture a little bit I mean I think a lot of the people that do business with you really like I mean that's really one of the things that attracts them is your 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 service and your and the kind of culture that you have there T talk about that and how that's and why that's a big deal yeah so Christie's is really cool um I say Christie's, but I mean all of the locations. It's just Christie's is where I'm at today. But um, it's it's been such a really cool opportunity. And I think anybody that works here would agree. You, there's so much room for growth. There's, you know, there's so many different ways you can go with this. It's not just a job. It's like a lifestyle. You get to, you know, you're really close with the people that you work with. And then I think it's just really neat that everybody here really cares about the quality of customer service that they give because we are I mean in a small a big small town everybody knows everybody so your rep your reputation is everything and I think everybody takes that pretty seriously but is also really down to earth and then you know just kind of being able to take your ideas and run with it and you know I've worked in corporations too and it's you know you can easily get squashed and shut down there um Whereas here, it's just, it feels like the op opportunities are endless. And then the connections that you make, like everybody's rooting for you. So it's, I love it. It's cool. Yeah. Sometimes it's, it's hard to describe the culture, um, but I, but I hear it, the connection, the closeness, the, the teamwork, the camaraderie, the friendships, the, you know, the, the, um, the hard work, yeah, I think the hard work. Yeah. Yeah. And it, you're rewarded for what you do. And it's not like, and I know that there's places in the industry that can squash your creative abilities and your, you know, here you have room to grow and they encourage that and they want to hear your ideas. And I think that it's really apparent with our owners, with our management, it's special. I worked a few places so I can 
say that with confidence. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice to 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 be able to work in a in a company that cares. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I think it, that our customers get that too, because we have a lot of like, you know, we're able to have a lot of repeat business. And I think that's why. Oh, I don't think there's any question. I, I can't, um, I see it in all our clients where the, the you know, people do business with similar people they and and with a culture they fit. You know, it's, uh, everybody says that, you know, people got to know, like, and trust you. Well, they're not going to know, like, and trust you if they don't trust your culture. You know, that, yeah. that comes apparent. I mean, if the, if the employees, if the team is, 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 not happy and not and you know not having a good time and they're just there to work show up and get a paycheck well that comes across it does but, it does and you feel that and i think that's it's one of the things i love most about that is you don't feel that here you you know when no, something every, happens to somebody everybody everybody cares everybody is there for you and they're in your corner so yeah, I, th I think that's really I th cool i think that's awesome but it's and it's also one of the reasons that we wanted to have and then I think that y'all agreed to be a sponsor of the Asheville Business Summit coming up in August. And we're, we're super happy to have y'all as a sponsor. What um, Tell us about the reason that you came on board and as a sponsor and why it makes sense for y'all. Yeah, I mean, it's just a really cool opportunity with it being um, something this big being in our area. It's a good way to connect to other um, businesses in our area because we are you know, we, we are a small business. We've been here for 15 years, but we, you know, there's still some people out there that don't know that we're here. And I think that, you know, the more that we can get out there and meet these people and, you know, and also apart from the, you know, the connections and stuff that we're going to make from that, getting to hear the speakers and learn and just kind of gain all that we can from that. I think it's going to be really great, but yeah, connections is huge in this area. So we're excited yeah. about it. Yeah, I love, I actually love, because I see you everywhere that I know. <laughs> and so you're, you're, you're around. I mean, we're, we, we travel in, uh, at least our companies travel in some of the yeah. same circles and have similar clients and uh, tend to do. So, I mean, one of the things I love is that, I mean, really your job is to be that connector with, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I imagine that you actually probably help, and not only get a lot of business for y'all's businesses, but you get, I, I, I imagine that you probably connect other businesses where that, that uh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, I do. I, for just me personally, I think it's a huge, um, how I want to be and how I strive to be is um, paying it forward. Like I believe that if you help other people, help other businesses that, you know, it, it may not do anything for you per se, but it's helping them out and somewhere down the line, you know, they'll remember that and they'll, you know, put a good word in for you or whatever. But I, 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 I've had really, really cool um, stuff happen just from me connecting people to other businesses and that I have nothing that we have nothing to do with it. We have nothing to gain from it, but it's, it's really rewarding to get to do that and see what, transpires the collaborations that have happened it's really neat but have you got an example that you could that you could share that comes to mind right away oh goodness um you, yes i'm sure that i do I'm trying to think of the what the most recent one is oh um one that just happened was i'm not sure if you're familiar with it but you should be because he's a great guy there's this guy that does uh his company is brevard laser and he makes like logoed he made us a few things. I don't know if I have anything with me right now to show you, but he makes little like he makes hats and journals and all this different stuff. Well, he um, th it's his side hustle. Like he's starting this business. He's a one man show. Right. And um, he has a full time job in Hendersonville and reached out and was like, hey, we I'd love to work with you or whatever. And I was like, you should come to this home builders event because, you know, I know a lot of people in the builders association. So like, come on and I'll introduce you. And then just from that, like one Instagram message, you know, he was able to be introduced to a few different people and like work with them through that. And, you know, soon he'll be able to go out on his own. And I think that's just, that's so cool. Like the connections that you can make happen. It really I is. love that. I love doing it, stuff like yeah. that. 
It really is about who you know. And it's really kind of a knack, too. I mean, some people do it naturally. And I, I think that I think you're right. I was actually listening to a podcast this morning about and and this guy was a doctor and he actually had um, they actually had research. It wasn't just his idea that um, like doing being doing acts of service is the way he put it. So doing nice things, being kind. They have they have like evidence that it you get have a longer life you you're certainly happier and all that and it wasn't and he, and he said look it's all data it, it's nothing I didn't make this yeah. up it's it's all it's all data so I there believe you go. it so yeah you just feel good when you're able to help somebody out and I think you know I, I do believe in you know what goes around comes around so uh, the more the more yeah. the more the more the more yeah I think I mean I I just think that it's it's a really cool position to be in because. And I think it helps us stand out too, is like, we're not just here. I'm not here to just push lights. I love, I want you to buy lights from us, buy all your things from us. But if there's other ways that we can help you be successful, we're going to, we're going to do that. So I, I don't know. I, I just, it's really cool getting to connect people. Yeah. With. I mean, and, you know, and sort of doing the right thing. I mean, sometimes it's not the right thing for someone to buy from you. It'd be, they'd be, yeah. you, you don't have the right thing for them. They don't have... And so, but you know who does. And so, oh, yeah. And, and, and that happens here too. Like, we'll have customers, and if we don't have it and the person down the street does, everybody here is like, go here. Here's the address. Here's their number. Like, it, it works out really well. Yeah. It all, I mean, yeah. It's, it's sort of that abundance mentality. There's plenty of business for yeah. everybody. So, um, it's awesome. Well, you mentioned the Builders Association a few times and they're actually going they are actually going to be on the podcast as well cuz they're one of the sponsors as well. So, but that's that's been a if you have anything to do with building, we're members on, you know, Christie's a member, Kinsley's very involved, Beth is with us is very involved. So, it's um that's a great it, in fact, I've been a member of uh two other builders associations in other areas and uh, and I've spoken at a couple of more, and this is the best one I've ever seen. So if you're in the uh, Western North Carolina area, you're going to want to, you know, and you have anything to do or any reason to be part of it, it is a great association to, to be member of, the, to be a member of. And I don't, yeah, yeah. So uh, if you need Absolutely. help, with, if you need help with that, you can reach out to me or you can reach out to Kinsley. Either way, we'll get it. So listen, if people are trying to get a hold of you at or Christie's, how how should they do it? Um, it just depends on what avenue they want to go down. You can look us up at christieslighting.com. Um, if you need interior design services, that's what our sister store is for. And that's the Silver Fox Gallery. We have an interior designer over there. Her name is Kayla. Um, and we have a design loft that is, uh, right now, it's free for builders to work out of as far as like meeting with their clients and doing consultations. That's um, awesome. It's uh, yeah, it's really cute. It's off of Main Street in Hendersonville. So it's in a historic building and you get the whole loft experience. Um, it's really neat. And then um, designers can work out of there too, because it is a, it's a design studio. And that's, you know, one of the ways that we like to kind of give back to our industry. We are very aware that not everybody has offices to work out of, especially, you know, because of COVID and what, or whatever the case may be. We have a lot of like one man show businesses and we'd love for them to be able to utilize that. And we have tons of resources there. Um, so you can look that up. Um, and then we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. It's the whole gamut. And then locksmith, American Eagle locksmith. Um, also relating back to, they'll do anything a locksmith does, but, um, right now what I'm pushing for is, you know, they can rekey the houses, they can install the door hardware, save tons of time, money, energy, doing all that. So, yeah. Yeah. Getting a little empire over there having to do yeah. uh, with anything to do with uh, building. And and frankly, yeah. even if, even slowly if you don't, but surely. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. There are a lot of contractors who are just in a truck. I mean, they're essentially working yeah. out of their truck. So yeah. Having a place for them to go and being able to sit down for, you know, have a cup of coffee yeah. and do a little and it work. And it goes back, yeah, it goes back to the connections aspect of it. Like we may not get anything from it right then and there, you know, it's free for them to use, but it's there. It's not, you know, that's what it's there for is it's a, it's a meeting space that's professional. That's really unique. And, you know, if they, 
so happened to pop downstairs and shop around. We love that, but of course, it's yeah, not well, an expectation, but it's there. yeah, well, but it's yeah, it's kind of hard to not go. I mean, eventually they're going to buy something. I mean, yeah. it, it's, I mean, it's, and, it's it's good business. It's yeah, really well. Nice. I've known you for a while and I, I wouldn't, I mean, I can't imagine a better job for you. I mean, you, I, I, mean, I really like it. I mean, you get to go out, you get to talk to people, you get to network, you get to, you know, you get to go to things, you get to see a lot of people and it's fun, right? Yeah. It's but, never, it's never dull. It's never yeah. the same thing every day. And yeah. that I really appreciate. <laughs> yeah. And it's fun. Yeah. And it's, and it's kind of a fun environment down at Christie's too. So, yeah. uh, and so, and Christie's is, is like you said, it's off of Airport Road. What's the address? Oh, that's a, that's a great question. We love that question. I'm like super dyslexic, so apologies. Even at Three Design Avenue. That sounds right. It's Even in Design. It's, it's Design Avenue. Three Design Avenue. Three Design Avenue. Yep, right off of Airport Road. You can just plug it in your GPS. It'll take you right there. I've done it a few times. It'll get you there. Hey, and we want everybody in business to come out for the Asheville Business Summit on August 20th. We've got Brad Sugars, the number one business coach in the world, coming to speak to us right here in Asheville. And you can get all the information at wncsummit.com, wncsummit.com. It's all on there. Uh, we look forward to seeing you over there. The folks at Christie's will have their have their table. Be it, you can You can talk to them there. And, we'll be uh, there. We'll you, chat with you. <laughs> yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and get your tickets now while it's still in the early bird phases, and then, um, uh, and we'll hope to see you there. It's going to be a it's going to be a big event. We're expecting 300 or so businesses, and um, yeah, it's going to it's going to be uh, you know the biggest event business wise in Asheville. So that's 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 our goal, I think and that's what we're going to. It'll do. be really special for other people to get to see the just. Western North Carolina business culture in general. I think it's, oh. it's super special. It, yeah, it really is. And I, I, the truth is I haven't seen a lot different than what you guys have at Christie's. I mean, people want to help you. I yeah. mean, they, they want to be helpful. Um, you know, so uh, come on out. I think you'll meet a lot of great people. Uh, make sure you get your tickets. It's going to be a sellout. I can tell you that right now. Oh yeah. And absolutely. so you're going to want to get them now. And uh, uh, we'll look forward to seeing everybody. Well, Kinsley, thanks for being on. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, and until next time, all the best.